Hi Dragonflies. This little video is for those of you who are either signed up to take a Zoom class with me or considering taking a Zoom class with me and you're wondering, how am I going to see what you're working on and give you feedback over Zoom? As you may guess, holding things up to the camera in Zoom isn't very easy to do and it's hard for me to point across the internet. But don't worry, I have been doing watercolor coaching for almost two years now by Zoom and we've got a system that works. So all you need to be able to do is to take a photo of your work and send it to me by email or text. And I can receive those emails and texts during the class or you can send them beforehand. So either way, if you reach a point while we're doing something in class and you're not sure where you wanna go next with your project and you'd like some feedback and advice right then, then all you have to do is pause, take a photo, send it over to me by email or text and then on my end, what I will do is I'll bring it into a digital painting app, and then I can actually paint right on top of your photograph, and we can explore what would, what would it look like if we made a change over here? How about if this area is darker? Maybe we wanna move something over to another part. I can make sketches to give you ideas about planning your watercolors. I can make adjustments to the work in progress. Uh, I can point to things with little arrows and make notes. And then I can also send that back to you if you like um, via email or text so that you have it for your reference. So it's actually fairly easy. This is actually what I do in an in-person class too. I don't like to work directly on students' work. And so instead I take a photograph, bring it into the digital painting app, and we do all our planning there. If you're taking a four or six week class with me, I will actually be showing you how to do that yourself. And this app is a free app available for Mac and Windows, iOS and Android. So pretty much everybody should be able to use it. It's a great tool to have in your studio. So I'll actually be showing you how to do it for yourself. However, some of you may actually be able to show me your work table during a Zoom call if you so choose. You don't have to do this, but it's actually fairly easy um, if you have some, some of the right equipment, and many of you will. So I thought I would also tell you if you would like to, if you have a smartphone or tablet, and you're either watching the call on a smartphone or tablet, or you can have that smartphone or tablet available to you while you're watching the Zoom call on a computer, you can actually use that as your camera. And um, if you add a small 20 or $30 device, it'll make it really, really easy. So I wanna just tell you about that so that you have that in the back of your mind as well. So let me pause a minute because I have to take my camera, my phone camera down off this device so I can show it to you. So my phone was in this little gadget here. It's just a clamp that clamps to the table and then a gooseneck arm. And then there are various types of clamps that you can put a phone or this one actually will take a tablet, a smaller tablet. And so you can have it sitting in a very nice place where you can see very comfortably. And then if you want to show your work table, all you have to do is reorient it so it's angled down towards your work table. And that's a very easy and convenient way to be able to say, hey, watch me lay this wash and explain to me why I'm getting streaks or whatever it might be. Um, you can get these stands for phones, tablets, and external webcams as well. So if you decide to do that, just make sure that you check and make sure that it's the right stand for the device that you're going to put into it. So if you go on Amazon or Google Shopping and you type in gooseneck clip-on phone stand or gooseneck clip-on tablet stand, you'll find a bunch of these. Now they run, I would say between 20 and $35, depending on how beefy they are. So if that's a more expensive option than you prefer to use, there is another possibility. And that is a little stand like this one. And um, this is something that you could probably easily make or, <laughs> or jury rig out of things that you have around the house too. 
So you can have your phone sitting like this to watch the class and then just simply turn it around and switch to the back camera if you're going to show me your work table. And if you happen to have a shelf or a cabinet directly over your work table, you may not need anything at all. You can simply rest your phone or tablet on the shelf and leave just a little bit protruding so that the camera is peeking out and that will show your work table as well. So if you're watching on a phone or tablet or if you're watching on a computer and you have a phone or tablet available to you, you can have that phone or tablet also join the call and I'll walk you through how to do that the first class. So if anyone's doing that, we'll get you all set up with how to do that during the first class. And then you can show me your work table if you want to while you're working. Another option is to use a computer with an external webcam and move the webcam around. But I want to reiterate that it is totally not necessary for you to do any of those things. It works just fine to just pause with what you're doing, snap a photo, ship it off to me by email or text, and ask your question. We'll pull it into the digital painting app and have our discussion there, just like we would in an in-person class. So I hope that helps you imagine a little more easily what a Zoom class might be like and how you would get feedback on projects that you're bringing in from home to ask about or a project that you're stuck on and need some help with during the class. So I hope to see you in a Zoom class sometime soon or back on YouTube. Happy painting!